DaVinci Resolve 19 public beta just came out and there's a sick audio feature that I think you should know about. This feature is called Optimize and if we go over to the Deliver tab here, you can see here we have our normal audio settings, Wave, Linear PCM, 48 kilohertz, same as my audio file. And then we have this audio normalization section. And in this normalization section, we typically just have normalized audio to a standard. However, they've recently added this optimize to standard, which doesn't really give you any details on what this actually does. So I went to the release notes here and you can see normalized loudness or peak scaling whichever first exceeds the threshold to a standard. So that kind of makes sense. Basically normalizing is going to take your entire audio file. So let's say it's 15 minutes of dialogue. It's going to find the loudest part and it's going to bring that loudest part up to a set amount that you tell it. So let's say it's at negative three and you set it to normalize to negative one. It's going to take the whole audio file and bring it up to decibels. That's kind of how normalizing works and that's great until you have a video with a lot of fluctuations in it. So maybe you have a quiet section or maybe you have some really loud peaks like loud laughs. Those laughs are gonna be what gets pulled up to negative one and that still means the rest of your video might actually be quite quiet. So what Optimize is gonna do is it's actually gonna go through and slightly remove some of those peaks. So you can see here, ensuring that the loudest meets the desired range, so bringing up the whole loudness, and that the peaks remain lower than the threshold. So what that kind of implies, it doesn't say it here, but I'm kind of reading between the lines, is that they're gonna do some light compression on your audio file to help bring up the rest of those audio files without having the peaks exceed zero decibels or clipping. This is gonna be great for the vast majority of content creators. So if you're creating YouTube videos or uploading podcasts to Spotify or something like that, this is going to be a tool that you don't want to miss. Now, I actually recorded this video yesterday first thinking that this tool did something different. You can see all of my test files up here. And what I was thinking it would do is if your video is, let's say 15 minutes long, and there's a loud section for five minutes, a quiet section for five minutes, and a loud section for another five minutes, that it would sort of look at that middle section and bring that middle section up. It doesn't actually do that. What it does is more bring any sort of stray peaks down. So when I was testing it with these long sections here that were about five minutes long of white noise or pink noise in this case, I was expecting to see that as the pink noise got quieter, that it would ramp this back up to full. And then it would get to this one, it would ramp that up to full and we get to this one ramp all the way up. So I expected to see all of these blobs basically being consistent within the export. And that just wasn't the case. And then I tested it with like a five minute fade. What would happen if we put a five minute fade? And you can see here, the results aren't that different. This is actually brought down to a different standard. So you can see it does dip down a little bit. Again, I was expecting to see that line remain consistent and that just isn't the case. So this is gonna be much more useful on things like dialogue because there's much more of these sort of stray peaks. You can see that one there. It would definitely grab that one and these ones here, it would probably grab those as well, but let's go ahead and demo this. So I'm gonna go over to the deliver tab, I'm going to call this processed VO and we're only gonna export audio here. I'm gonna export a WAV file, 48 and 24, same as my audio file. And we're gonna set this to normalize the audio to optimize to the standard. The standard I'm gonna select is YouTube and negative one for peaks and negative 14 for LKFS. So let's go ahead and export this. And so you can see here, the bottom side is the process side, the top half is the original. And you can see these levels, these tall peaks here have basically stayed the same but everything else has been brought up quite a lot. So this is kind of symptomatic of compression. What normalizing would do, if we just go ahead and normalize this file, the good old fashioned way to the same specs, but we'll just normalize it. You can see the difference. So this is a normalized file. This is an optimized file. So you can see here, normalize is basically gonna find the tallest peak the tallest peak of the tallest tower right here. And it's gonna bring that up to that negative one that we set it to. And you can see what Optimize is doing. It's really bringing up all of these quiet sections. So this is going to be awesome for content creators who want a little bit more of a set it and forget it kind of approach to getting their levels right for the various platforms. And what's great is that you can set it based on what platform you're uploading to. It's a really cool tool for content creators, especially those who don't have audio completely under their belt. Maybe they don't understand the mastering process or how to get levels set to each platform. This is sort of a surefire way to get really close to each platform standard and to give your listeners a much better experience throughout the duration of your content. Well, I hope that this tip was helpful. If you feel like being a really kind person, leaving a like and a subscribe down below, it would go a very, very long way. And if you wanna see more tips about DaVinci Resolve, I edit a podcast for my full-time job and I do it in DaVinci Resolve because it's a video podcast. So if you want any tips on that, let me know down in the comments below and I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you in the next one.